stayed in here for a couple of nights, Kinley House in Cork City. Decent hostel, good facilities, absolutely amazing Wi-Fi. The church bells in here keep ringing off the last couple of days, but I just realised today why the tune of Top Gun is in my head. Whoever's doing the bells in here is doing the tune of Top Gun. <laughs> so, they're clearly mucking around, I don't know how that's happening. Anyway, head good, feet good, mind good, body good, let's go. Cork City. I believe Cork City is home to one of the largest natural harbours in the world. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the largest harbour in the world, natural harbour, is Sydney, Australia. And Cork is second after that. Interesting fact, Cork is also known as the Rebel County. It stayed independent throughout the War of Independence in Ireland, but also it warded off the many invasions by the Vikings. Hey. Believe it or not, this is actually why I came to Cork City. This is what swayed my decision. This is a great store, by the way, the Outdoor Adventure store. I didn't come for this store, but I came for what I need to pick up here. I just couldn't find it. Yes. I believe this crowd is owned by the Scouts, possibly. They're definitely affiliated with them, which is great. Great cause. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did ask. It's affiliated with the Scouts, not owned by the Scouts, but affiliated with them. What I do like about this store, it has some good gear, but it's always good value. It's, it's. I don't want to say the word cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than other outdoor stores, which are expensive in Ireland. Sherkin Island is Kerry. Sherkin Island is Cork. Right. But it would be much of a different. Yeah, yeah. And then it's beside each other, yeah. For the past 40 minutes, I've been walking along uh, with this man named Donny from Cork City. He works in, in Glanmire and he was telling me all about his job, the stress involved with his job, but he wasn't complaining or anything. He, he, he was just explaining why he's taking a week off work to be with his dog and so on. It was very interesting chatting with him, it just struck me to how lucky I am to be able to dip in and out of people's lives like this. Like Something like this would never have happened had I not been taking this adventure. And you know, it's not something you think about when you go and do a trip like this, you, that you're going to be meeting these people in such a random way, you know, I'm just walking next to this motorway and a guy comes out of the bush with his little dog and uh, we just start chatting, you know, it was great. And as I said, it, I, I feel it's special to have moments like that and, and I feel privileged that people will share these personal things with me, you know, with somebody you just met for the first time. Oh, 
Hello, doggy. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Live wild. That was day 18 of walking across Ireland from Dublin to the Great Blasket Islands in County Kerry. I left Cork today and hiked just outside the city to a campsite here. My plan is to start heading back toward the Great Blasket Islands again and try and reach some of the wilderness areas that I know of between here and there. It's been a really great week for me as you may know I got my first sponsor for the walk and I couldn't be more happy with them it, it's a really big deal because I gave up sending emails and knocking on doors for sponsorship about three years ago and I just told myself at that time that if I continue to pursue my interest in the outdoors with enough creativity and enough interest and love that the rest would follow so it's really a dream start for me coming home to Ireland and be different I mean it's not just the the fact that they're they're a good fit for me they're a marketing agency based in Dublin they work with some really big brands here in Ireland they're very successful but I know that the team this team in particular has an interest in getting outdoors and that really matters to me I want people to be involved with me that actually care about what I do so I thank Emer and her team and I hope that people who watch these videos will appreciate that not only will this help me prolong this walk around Ireland but it will also help me reach out to other sponsors and encourage other sponsors to get involved too which will only help me grow and improve in the future as well so I'm really chuffed at the moment. Thank you guys for following my trip as always. Uh, mind good, feet good, body good. Everything's good. Talk to you tomorrow.